Hey guys, it's Chardonnay. If y'all hear my voice, I'm a little raspy. I'm sounding like Tony Braxton right now. I was a little sick, a little under the weather last week, so that's part of the reason why I've been in my yay. But your girl's back. We hitting y'all with this fashion, these fashion related videos. And this video is going to kick off spring. It is hot, y'all. I feel like in on the West Coast, it ain't even springtime, y'all. Like it was literally 90 degrees last week. But I'm still, when it comes to fashion, I'm still gonna give y'all spring content. So this video is not going to be a spring outfit ideas video. Well, kind of. But that video will be coming very soon. This video I wanted to do is going to be a how to style one pair of faux leather leggings like six ways. I have built a capsule wardrobe. I have told you guys this in previous videos. Basically a wardrobe that can be mixed and matched and I could create different outfits out of not that many pieces. I do have a lot of clothes y'all. I, I ain't gonna lie. But I can mix and match so much that it creates even more outfits. So enough about that. Let's get into the details of the leggings. The leggings, you guys. So these leggings, I actually designed myself. They are a faux leather material um, and they are on my website, bonshay.com. So if y'all are new here, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, um, based on this whole YouTube, my YouTube channel, my Tall Queen series on my YouTube channel. Um, I basically was like, you know what? I keep talking about tall girl problems. Let me solve them. So I have designed and manufactured um, my own Tall Queen collection. I do have a similar pair already on my website, which is one of my best sellers. Um, and they are a black, like shinier faux leather material. Um, and those things, they feel like skin. Everybody loves those leggings. I get so many compliments on those leggings, just saying how comfortable and how like high quality they feel. So I wanted to make another version of those leggings, but that can transition into the springtime. This material is not as thick, um, but it's not see-through, baby girl. Like we don't do see-through, okay? It's still gonna give you that high quality look, but it is lighter than my other leggings, the black leggings that I have on my site. I wanted to do this like nude color. It almost matches my skin because I felt like that would be appropriate for spring. Um, and then y'all already know length check for size reference. I am 6'1", y'all, flat footed. So your girl with heels is probably about 6'3", 6'4", probably. So um, I wanted to make sure that they scrunched enough at the bottom Obviously, if you're a little shorter than me, they'll scrunch a little more. Um, but I wanted to make sure that us tall queens could wear them with heels. When this video releases on Saturday, the leggings will be available. So once you add that to your cart and check out, honey, come back to this video because I'm going to show you how to style these leggings like six different ways. So my first, obviously, outfit that I have on is very simple, but I feel like you can never go wrong with a white button up. This is an oversized white button up. Um, I think it's from the men's section, y'all, just because I love that oversized look. And because I'm tall, usually men's stuff just fit better. These I've had for a while. They're like those Cinderella type heels. Let's see which one you guys. This is part of styling. Like you literally can just see which one you like better. I would definitely go with a pointy toe shoe. I just think it looks very chic, especially with the button up um, and then the leggings. I will say for me, like I have been trying to like really um, be more intentional with my accessories. So I feel like just adding a cute little bag. This one um, I have had for probably a year now, um, but it's super cute, super neutral. Um, and just goes with the overall things. I also have this bag, you guys, um, which I think I originally said I was gonna pair it with. This is more of like an oversized kind of shoulder bag. It has this knot detailing, if you could see. Um, girl, this was from Target, the clearance section. It was like $15. Like, I was shocked of how inexpensive this was. And look how cute 
Oh, it like matches perfectly with the pants. Yeah, honey. This is giving a whole nother look, but it is very cute. So, of course, I'll try and link this, but it was clearance and I got it months ago. Um, because when I see something I like, I just buy it. Like, I don't care if I can use it now, later, whatever. I'ma buy it. Y'all ain't new, y'all true to this channel. Y'all know I love me faux leather and I love me a good oversized blazer. Hence why I did these faux leather leggings. But again, you guys, these faux leather leggings, they are lightweight. I wish you guys could feel them. They are still thick where they're not see-through, but they are so lightweight that you're not gonna like sweat. It's almost just mimicking like faux leather, but it's not thick like that. So let me switch it up so it'll be a real quick outfit change. Literally change the whole look. I feel like this is more like um, she's a boss. Like she's a businesswoman. She's running from business meeting to business meeting. She has deals to close. Like this is the look it's giving. So I just threw on this oversized blazer. The problem that I usually have being a taller girl is that they usually do not fit me good. So I love thrifting blazers um out of the men's section you see the reoccurring theme like stuff i just like the oversized fit this just shows you how these leggings can go for more like i felt like that was like a more casual or like more just like daytime brunch look with just the button up to this is more of like i'm going to a business meeting like i'm going to work like if i work in a professional setting um this is definitely that look okay so we're gonna do a quick outfit change really not an outfit change just a shirt change how i decided to style this i actually have shown this knit on my channel before and i absolutely love it so that's why i continue to show it i don't care who gonna check me boo um but the way i wanted to style this is a little different if you know you know pops of color are in again i'm a neutral gal but I really been drawn to a color lately not wearing color all on my body that's a little too much but I've been drawn to like pops of color in my accessories so as you can see I have this bag from Zara um, and I specifically bought this bag to go with these shoes from Zara so I decided to kind of spice it up a little bit with this and instead of just putting on like a nude heel, I wanted to put on a point, these pointy toe green heels. I don't know, it's the nude and the green for me. So, and then just pairing it. You know, you know when you put on something and you just be like, girl, you did that. This is one of them outfits for me. Anytime y'all see something that I have designed and created on my website, um just know it is tall girl approved honey i've done the work i've done the research i try everything on i make sure that it is hands down the best fit for us tall girls so um my base of this is going to be my leggings obviously i have this crop top zara because zara don't never fail when it comes to a good crop top i'm trying to give y'all color okay i don't want to hear nobody talking about ain't no color I don't really have people that say that, but I'm trying to give y'all a little color on my channel, okay? What is this called? Is it called a European tuck or a French tuck? Something like that. I saw it on Queer Eye, y'all. But what I'm going to do is pair it with this hat that I got on Amazon. I will link my Amazon storefront down below so that y'all can purchase. But I got this hat off Amazon and I absolutely love it. I feel like this is giving very mom, like swaggy mom on the go. I'm taking my son to practice. I'm picking him up, like very swaggy mom. I want to give y'all more casual vibes, something not as dressy as all the other ones. If you do live in a colder climate, so I would be cool with just wearing this just like this, obviously. Hey Siri, how? How is it in New York right now? Let's see. It's currently cloudy and 45 degrees in New York, New York. Okay, so it's 45 in New York. Y'all for show. Sure. My New Yorkers, my East Coasters, y'all for show sure could be wearing a jacket. So this is a Levi's denim jacket that I have. And you could definitely throw this on. I love layering, but like I said, right now it's absolutely too hot out here to have this jacket on. 
but just wanted to give y'all some options just in case you live in a colder climate and then if you really like on the east coast and you still it's still pretty chilly um i do have this jacket that i never really featured on my channel i don't think um but this is from boohoo and it is sleeveless so it's gonna give you a little warmth but um for, for sure, if you live on the East Coast, you could definitely pair it like this. But this jacket is not super heavy. Um, if it's like 50s and below, you probably could get away with this jacket just because it's sleeveless. Um, your girl would try and wear it now, but I would be burning up. One thing that I feel like you absolutely must have in your spring wardrobe um, is a good flowy um like cover up it's almost this one is like a cover up slash dress um but i just feel like these are necessary you can wear them to the pool um you could wear them as a cover up for your bathing suit and then you can also layer them for the spring because they're very lightweight and i thought i was initially going to put heels on with this but i kind of like it just with my dunks instead of like the button up i felt like that was a little more um dressy this is for sure just kind of like throw on and go um not as formal more of on the casual side so i wanted to give you guys at least two casual looks um because i don't want you guys always like oh you always wear heels with stuff blah, 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 blah. yeah because i like heels okay and if i want to wear heels with every single outfit that's what i'm gonna do okay period my last and final outfit y'all know i had to put in some black in this i don't care if it's spring summer winter fall i don't care I'm gonna wear black. That's just point blank, period. Do I want to put the bucket hat on, y'all? Do I want to put it on? Yes. Do I always wear it? Yes. Do I care that y'all see me always wear it? No. Um, so I'm put on the bucket hat. The bucket hat is just a vibe. It's always a vibe. I love me a good bucket hat. I get so many compliments on this hat. It is from Target. And it's still on there because somebody asked me and I literally, while I was standing there with them, I literally was like, girl, let me pull out my Target app for you and I'm going to send you the link. This is a padded, it is not, it's very light y'all, like very light. Um, this is from H&M, black bralette, H&M as well, black and white dunks. And then I probably would pair her with this bag right here. It has this gold detailing. I literally just got this in the mail. Um, I would definitely pair her with this. Another casual look. Y'all, I gave y'all about half and half. I gave y'all like three casual and three dressy looks. So just thank me now. I don't feel like you have to spend thousands of dollars for one outfit or to look good. Um, and then also, if you build a capsule collection, you don't have to have a ton of clothes. I literally, out of these one pair of leggings, I made six outfits, um, and I probably could make six more outfits. So again, when this video drops, the leggings will be available on my site, vonshay.com. I will put it down here. I will put it in the description box. I appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, you guys.